Hello guys, welcome back to another Revisited. Now this is a Revisited that you guys chose and you guys chose I Am Legend. Let's go. Yes guys, you chose I Am Legend. A massive percentage of you decided that. Um, Parasite came in really close though as you can see. So who knows, uh, maybe next time we'll do Parasite um, again and revisit that because it's a movie I really enjoyed um, obviously when it came out back in 2019. Um, anyways, we did revisit I Am Legend. We do get, we do know actually, there's a second one coming out of this. Uh, I Am Legend 2 uh, that's currently in works with uh, Michael B. Jordan as well. How I feel about that, I'm not too sure. You know, it came out in 2007, this did. So kind of a lot of time has passed, but at the same time, watching this again, revisiting it, it still holds true. I remember this being a fantastic film. Went to see this in the cinema. Um, God, I would have been 13, 14 uh, watching this in the cinema, uh, which is mad to me because this is a 15. And I remember seeing this for my birthday. So maybe I just turned 15 or maybe I just turned 14 and I just got into the 15 film. I can't remember. But I remember seeing this in the cinema and I remember thinking, fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, basically Will Smith, Robert, uh, Robert Neville is basically like a scientist and he's trying to crack the code of um you know this cure for these not zombies but like they're infected um you know they're infected new york is on a proper like lockdown nobody's on the island um all the bridges have been destroyed so nobody can get in or out and it's yeah very much like a contained virus uh, a worldwide thing i think we don't really know i think it is and um yeah really really good like how it holds up now there is some things in there that, you know, don't hold up very well. Um, and there is some scenes that do, like obviously the dog scene, really sad, um, you know, just takes you back uh, to that, obviously with um, with Sam. Uh, really sad scene. And then we also get then um, the actual look of the zombies or infected. You know, the, the CGI is there, isn't there, you know, it is 2007, which is a good like, well, I don't even know how, how long ago now that is, like, 16 years ago. Christ, I'm old. But yeah, 16 years ago this film came out, so, you know, we're getting into nearly two decades now, and the CGI is questionable uh, on times, um, you know, and it would be. It is one of those, like I say, a long time ago. Um, and it's, yeah, it is it is what it is, but it didn't hinder my experience um, at all with the, movie, with the film, and um, it, it just gives me nostalgia. I think I watched this film so many times, like, I remember when it actually came out um, on DVD or whatever back then, and or Blu-ray even, and, and I just remember thinking, like, this is amazing, like, this is so good, I remember loving it so much. And in a way, I remember watching it to death, if you know what I mean. So it's quite good that I probably haven't watched this for maybe 15 years, you know, 14 years and you know now getting to experience it in 4k as well um you know just wanted to give her another go speaking of the 4k though um that's one of the negatives really this disc just didn't give me any new experience like from what i remember didn't look any sharper didn't um the sound wasn't any different there was no dolby atmos or anything like that and in the movie that you really want dolby atmos we didn't get it um it just felt a bit lackluster. Um, I do actually want to check out the Blu-ray uh, version of this because this has the alternative ending. Uh, the alternative ending now is apparently going to be uh, canon um, because that obviously the, 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 the initial cinema ending is basically him killing himself. And if Will Smith's going to return now in the second one, then it means that the other ending needs to be canon. So it's really weird. You know, it's one of those that I think one of these films that shouldn't have been touched. Um in my opinion. So. Yeah, so I will be checking the Blu-ray out. I think the 4K was a bit lackluster. Um, didn't really look any sharp. Didn't notice anything different at all. Especially, I watched it the same night that I watched The Shallows, which is a video I've done recently. Um, and The Shallows being a much newer movie, it was second to none in terms of quality um, on that disc versus this disc. So uh, yeah, um, I will say that about it, but, but yeah. But for me though, I Am Legend definitely does hold up. It's a really good story. It's really good emotional levels there. Got the whole Bob Marley stuff and, and all that. And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. I'm actually going to give it a four star. Uh, for me, one of my favourite films, um, especially like apocalyptic stuff, um, you know, in terms of like zombies and infections and all that. One of my favourites. It's always going to be. Um, and it's really good to have it now in my collection. 4K wise, I'm not 100% sure of. 
but you know the film itself for me four star is a fair score but there it is guys there is my revisiting of i am legend as i say you guys voted for this stay tuned look on the community tab over the next couple of days we'll put another poll up there um and you guys can vote on the next movie that i will review i like doing it this way you guys decide the content um so so yeah thanks for watching though, guys stay tuned for more and let me know your thoughts down below subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one goodbye